the year is 2010, eight partners started a small startup called Xiaomi which will later storm the world of technology. Xiaomi is now a leader in the technological industry and competing with the tech giants such as Apple and Samsung. Xiaomi is constantly in the news for producing inexpensive smartphones with great specifications. Ever wondered how Xiaomi started off? How did a tiny little Chinese startup manage to blow up like this in only six years? How did it became world's fourth largest smartphone manufacturer? So well in this video we will find out about the amazing rise of Xiaomi. Xiaomi was founded by Lai Jun along with seven other co-founders on April 2010. Lai Jun was the chairman of UC Web and also the CEO of a Chinese software company Kingsoft. Initially Xiaomi was funded by group of investors that include Singaporean Temasek Holdings, mobile processor developer Qualcomm and many other Chinese investors. Initially Xiaomi started off by producing firmwares or you can say ROM. On August 2010 they officially launched its first MIUI which stands for Mi User Interface which was written in C, C++ and Java. MIUI is based on Google's Android. As of February 2016 Xiaomi said that the MIUI ROM has over 170 million users worldwide which supports more than 340 handsets. MIUI was our very, very first product. We introduced it on August 16th of 2010. That was one year before we launched our very first smartphone. And MIUI has now 200 million users globally. But before we watch remaining part of the video, we should know why Xiaomi is named as Xiaomi. Xiaomi is a Chinese word which means millet. CEO Lai Jun suggested there are more meanings than just the millet. He said that Xia refers a single grain of rice of a Buddhist is as great as a mountain, suggesting Xiaomi wants to work from the little things, while MI is an acronym for mobile internet and also mission impossible, referring to the obstacles encountered in starting the company. So it's a quite interesting name. So now let's continue to know about the success story of this startup. In 2011 the company released its first ever smartphone Xiaomi Mi 1. When it was released the device received more than 300,000 pre-orders in the first 34 hours in China. The phone was powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon processor as its CPU and Adreno 220 as its GPU. This smartphone was a huge hit in the China. Later in 2012 Xiaomi launched Xiaomi Mi 2 smartphone which the company sold over 2 million units in 11 months. In September 2013, the company announced plans to open its first service center in Beijing. In 2012 Xiaomi shipped a total of 7.2 million smartphones and in 2013 Xiaomi shipped a total of 18.7 million smartphones and even shipped more than the Apple in one quarter. Demand continues to increase due to the high specification hardware of their devices and the competitive price they sell their products at. By October 2013 Xiaomi became the fifth most used smartphone brand in China. In 2013 September ex Google's Android division Vice President Hugo Barra joined Xiaomi as Vice President of Xiaomi for Global Division. At this point Xiaomi started plans to expand outside China and their first stop was Singapore. They set up an international headquarter at Singapore and launched Xiaomi Mi 3 which was sold off in two minutes of the opening day sale. Following Singapore, the company opened in Malaysia, Philippines and India and has planned to expand into Indonesia, Thailand, 
Russia, Turkey, Brazil and Mexico in the following months. Xiaomi devices were huge hit in all of these nations with its products sold off within minutes in the flash sale. By now Xiaomi has already proven itself to be a major challenge to Apple and Samsung in China and other parts of Asia. In December 2014 Xiaomi raised over $1 billion in a latest round of financing which skyrocketed the valuation of Xiaomi to more than $45 billion US dollars, making it one of the most valuable private technology companies in the world. In 2015 Xiaomi became the most selling smartphone company in China and sold 70 million devices around the world. We're really, really excited. Very young company as I said. Uh, we're not even six years old. Last year, we sold over 70 million uh, smartphones around the world. And that's, by the way, actual sellout. These are not products sold into the channel, but actually products sold to consumers, mostly because we sell directly to consumers. According to IDC, Xiaomi was the number one smartphone brand in China in 2015. Xiaomi is known for selling smartphones with higher specifications with low cost. But how is that possible for Xiaomi? It has a very unique business model. Lai Jun, Xiaomi CEO, said that the company prices the phone almost at bill of material prices, without compromising the component quality and performance compared to other premium smartphones to reduce overhead costs. Xiaomi does not own any physical stores, it sells its product from its online store. It doesn't engage with traditional advertising of products and relies on social networking services and word of mouth to publicize its products. Ok now let's discuss about the other products Xiaomi produces. Did you notice the beginning part of this video? All the electronic products shown are made by Xiaomi. Well Xiaomi produces many more things like smart home essentials and other gadgets such as air purifier, humidifier, rice cooker, coffee maker, Wi-Fi routers, laptops, action camera, drones, power banks, Bluetooth speakers and many more. So, this is the amazing story of Xiaomi. It has the potential to become the next Apple. Let us end this video with a quote of Xiaomi. Always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. So, guys hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe our channel and don't forget to like and share this video. It means a lot to us. Thanks for watching this video.